This is a guide on how to use the training.dov.au website to find training packages, qualifications and units of competency. So the first thing you want to do is open your internet browser bar and type in training.gov.au and you will be presented with this page where you have three options. You want to say the one that says continue to training.gov.au. You then want to click on search. It will be presented with two options. Here you can find all the different RTOs or organizations that deliver training packages, but we want to find the one where it says search for training components. Now this is the search engine where you can search for your training packages, your qualifications, your competency and all sorts of things. Unfortunately, it's not a great search engine. So what you want to do is keep your, your terms broad. The more specific you are, the less likely you are to find something. So we are going to untick superseded data because I do not want old units of competency. I'm also going to untick all and maybe just tick training packages, qualifications and units of competency. But you can tick whatever you're looking for. So to be um, as broad as possible, we might just put in health and say search. From here you'll see there's one training package, the health training package. There's 41 qualifications, and so you can scroll through all of them down here. And then there's 253 units of competency that comes under the health training package. If you're looking for a training package, it's easy, just click up there on your health training package. And what you will find here is it will tell you it's current. So always make sure that it's current. Okay. And then scroll down and it will note you all the qualifications that are actually kept in that health training package, which we saw before as well. It will tell you all the different skill sets that are available within this training package and imported skill sets and then you'll get to units of competency as well. So you can just use this to click on whatever you're looking for. So we might click on a diploma of nursing. And so here we've got a qualification. Okay, so you'll see it's got the first three letters of the training package and then it's got a few numbers after it. So again, it will tell us it's current. It comes from the health training package. And then it will list all of the unit of, units of competency available within that qualification. If you scroll down, you'll also see it will tell you the different packaging rules for that specific qualification. So there's 25 units in total that have to be done. 20 of them are core, 5 of them are elective units, where 3 must be selected from the list below. So if you keep scrolling, you'll see electives. So you'll have to pick at least 3 from this, the electives. And then it says up to 2 units maybe from any other endorsed training package or accredited course. So you can pick it from the electives, but it can also be from another endorsed package, as long as it's relevant to the work. So if you're looking for a unit of competency, here we've got a whole bunch of them. So you can go through and decide what you want. We might say provide first aid, pick that one. And here you're presented with your unit of competency, which you'll note has more, has the first three letters, which means it's from the health package. And then it will have three more letters that indicate the field which it's from. So again, you'll see this is a current unit of competency. If you scroll down, you'll note it actually tells us that this unit of competency comes from a whole bunch of different training packages. It's not just from the health training package. 
and all the different qualifications that have that unit of competency as well. And some of the skill sets. You'll note here you are able to actually download the unit of competency. So you want to download the unit of competency as well as the assessment requirements. Some of the older units will only have one where everything's included in one document, but the newer units have the two different documents that you'll need to download. If you scroll down, this is where you will find your elements and your performance criteria. So what you need to teach for that unit of competency, as well as the assess and then the assessment requirements, which will be in the, the two unit documents that you need to download. So you'll need all of this information. We can go back into our search box, search for training components like we did before. Again, we'll untick superseded data and all, and again, I'll pick just those three that I'm looking for. And you might say, oh, you're looking for a forklift. So there's no training package for a forklift, but there are qualifications, okay? There's a set three in forklift technology, and there's a 10 different units of competency that involve using a forklift, okay? So you could even just go from straight from here, instead of going through the qualification, you can just stick straight through here that you're looking for, operate a forklift. If you scroll down, it's current, and this, Unit of competence actually comes from the training package RII, which is Resources and Infrastructure Industry. It's contained within all of these qualifications. Again, these are the two documents that you will have to download. And that those two documents will contain all of these information. So the elements in the performance criteria, as well as the assessment requirements, which contain performance evidence and knowledge evidence as well as assessment conditions. So I hope this helps you to use the training.gov.au website to find training packages, qualifications, and units of competency.